Hi James, here's some back with another snare for you. This is one I picked up and uh, I actually got this off of an eBay auction in, but the I, I, well, auction was actually in Boise. It's just a six love Slingerland, um, it's a blue and silver, uh, Niles badge, um, Slingerland inward hoops. Uh, this is everything as I got it. And I actually bid on the drum. It came in a case and it has a little stand with it and stuff like that. The reason I bid on the drum in the first place is there was the brown Buddy Rich practice pad in there from Slingerland that was still in the practice pad packaging, the box. So I, I got it just for that, put the drum away and never touched it. I got it out for this uh, video. As far as I know, everything on here is stock. There's a small hole there. A couple of snares continue to buzz. They're a little stretched out or bent or something. Slingerland. It says batter head um, on the bottom, you know, snare batter. Um, actually, sorry, it says slinger to snare. And the top head says slingerland um, orchestral, orchestral batter. Uh, some of the ink is a little messed up. Uh, I just left it as, I tried to tune it up. It's kind of, uh, it probably could use new heads and uh, new snare wires and it would be a great sounding snare drum. It's just, again, basically a student model six lug. It's got what they call the chocolate milk paint on the inside, which is uh, late 60s to uh, 1970 type thing. Uh, and the silver and black badge, I believe, trans transitioned over somewhere in the very, very late 60s. So it's probably a, a super late 60s or maybe even a 1970s. There's no date on the inside. So it's got a, a muffle on it. I've got it turned off. Uh, it's a little dark, but here it is with no muffling. Hear that? That's actually the snare wires ringing. Yeah. I'm, I'll probably have to put your head on this and reshoot this video. I'll listen to it after I do it. Uh, Vader bus kill. Take away some of the overtones, which it definitely has one overriding one.
Yeah, there's a definite overtone in this drum, and I, I may have to redo this, and I'll save the old heads, but I'm definitely not going to keep the drums so anybody who might just be interested in it, I may have to reshoot this video. Um, either way, if I do decide to get rid of it, it will be shipped in the case with the stand. The only thing I'm interested in keeping is the Buddy Rich pad and the packaging for that. Um, so I'll ship whatever heads I put on it, plus the uh, heads that came with it. Thanks.